Oh, today, today, today. Today's video is called Diet Myths. Yes, myth, myths. <laughs> um, it, it, it is absolutely my biggest pet peeve. Like, it drives me insane that the weight loss the gimmick world wants you to be on these, you know, insanely crazy diets. I want you to know I've tried them. I've tried them all. And I'm going to date my, myself here, but I've tried the grapefruit diet, the Atkins diet. I've tried, you know, um, only eating 500 calories a day. I've tried, you know, uh, I've tried the higher fat protein for a little bit. I don't, I don't believe in keto diet unless a, a medical doctor puts you on it and is monitoring you because it can be very, very dangerous. Um, I don't believe in eliminating food groups. Your body has to have it. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just insane that people think that you can't eat vegetables because they're, some of the vegetables are too high in carb. If you are a bodybuilder and you are getting ready for a show, that's when that matters. Um, more than likely, most of my clients are not getting ready for a build, bodybuilding show or competition. And you know what? Our bodies need those vegetables. It needs those fruits. I always tell everybody, God put food on the earth for a reason. And that's because we were made to eat. So don't look at all that hype, those myths that you see all over social media, all of the things your friends are posting about, and all these ads that you see on TV. You know, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars on shakes, wraps, pills, or, you know, already made, you know, meals that come to your door. That's silly. You can eat a normal, whole, well-balanced meal plan at home for cheap, or even when you go out to eat, you can, you can eat, you know, carbs. I eat, just like the other day, my husband um, and I took my mother-in-law to the doctor and we, we went through Wendy's and had I had a burger without the bun because I have a food allergy or I would have had the bun and I had a burger without the bun and I had a extra large french fry and I even had a medium Dr. Pepper. I didn't feel like I was doing anything wrong. I did not down myself for it because I am not in that diet mentality and I want you to get out of that mentality. I want you to learn to eat without restricting yourself and thinking that there's bad food. None of it's bad. Some of it's not very healthy for us, but you know what? If you do really good most of the time and you're eating vegetables, fruit, whole grain, lean protein, you're gonna be okay if you have those days. You're gonna be okay if you have a couple of Hershey's Kisses a day. Or you want, a, you want a piece of cake at your son's birthday party. Have a piece of cake. Eat the darn cake. Eat the cookies. It's okay. There are ways to make some of these things healthier for us. But I don't even want you to focus on that yet. In the 30-day clinic that I have, we're going to focus a little more and dive more into making healthier options and recipes and things like that. But right now, I just want you to focus on... Food is okay. Don't restrict yourself. Like I said, um, and I'm going to tell you one one story, and then because um, I have a, a whole a whole lot after 20 years of working in the industry. But you know, I have a friend that had put her daughter on the keto diet, and that diet ultimately killed her because what happens is your body does not absorb potassium. So um, once that happened, your body will never reabsorb it properly. It also causes major kidney issues. But her daughter did die from the keto diet. That, that came from a friend, not a client, but a friend. And I have seen some positive things on keto. 
But I'm telling you right now, unless a doctor is monitoring you, stay away from it. Same thing with all these crazy diets and all these, you know, elimination gimmicks, these shakes with all these chemicals in it. You know, and it's kind of crazy because some of those people are the ones that are posting all over social media or on their website pages about how much money they made for the month or what they brought in that year. It's because it's all about the money. When we can, we can go to the farmer's market and get fresh vegetables. We can go to our local butcher and get great beef. So, you know, we've got farmers that, that would need our money. If you want to spend all that money, get some good whole foods. If you want to go out to eat, there's great options when you go out to eat anymore. Just don't restrict yourself. It's a myth that it works because you might lose it first, but then you're going to gain it all back. And that's just that. I know. I did Fin Fin in 1995, which is a weight loss diet. Uh, it was actually a prescription diet pill. And several, two pills, and I have a leaky heart valve that is damaged because of those pills. So, you know, what, what, at what cost do you want to lose weight? Do you want to feel better and be here for your children and be alive longer? Or do you want, you know, to take that short road and do the pills, the shakes, the wraps, or the starvation diets? Because I promise you, your health is going to suffer. That's a 100% guarantee that your body will suffer some people it takes a little longer. Some people it don't take long at all. It only took me 90 days to, to have issues. 90 days. So I completely understand how hard this is, but I want you to know how proud of I am of you. Just don't think about those myths anymore. Eat good food. Exercise. You know that's the thing to do. Don't go on those diets. Don't buy into those gimmicks. It's not going to work. Not for a long time. I'm really proud of you. And thank you so much, guys, for letting me air out my, my brain. Because I know that this can change your life if you just give it a chance. I hope you have a great day. Hope you love the workout. Talk to you soon.